Greetings, gamers, and welcome uh, to another D&D adventure here on the Lasercorn channel. I am once again taking on the role of DM because it's fun and I didn't get to kill anyone last time. And so now I'm going to try and remedy that. And joining us today, uh, Great. we have, hey, Andrea, Steimer, and Britt are joining us here today. Uh, so I'm going to let them go ahead and uh, go around and introduce themselves right now and their characters. The character that I am playing today is named Era, and I am a draconian sorcerer, Arakakra, Arakokra? I don't know how to say the name of my character class, but I'm a bird lady, and I am a very eloquent, smooth-talking, yet noble soul and hopefully i'm gonna cast some badass spells i'm very excited can i just say i'm very excited about your character i've never played a campaign with one of these characters they can actually fly and just take flight and so they get in trouble or if they want like an aerial advantage they could just take off and go straight up yeah it's gonna be yeah. interesting because i also have never played a flying character before mm -hmm. and my flying range is quite large but i feel like it could either get me in trouble or it could Take, keep me too far away from my teammates. So we'll have to see how it That's all plays true. out. Let's go over to uh, Steimer and in have you introduce your character. Hi, I'm Steimer. And uh, my character's name is Zanzara. She is a half-orc paladin. Um, I'm pretty excited about this because I've never played super Healy characters, nor do I normally play super religious characters. So this will be a fun adventure. We're gonna get along just fine, you and me. I, already, I just came up quickly with, since you decided to live with me, a little backstory for you and me, Brittany, but I'll let you introduce yourself first. Okay, okay. So yes, hello, I am Brittany, and I am playing B. Nastier, a Goliath Barbarian. All you need to know about me is I like to hit shit, and I have no intelligence and literally negative charisma. So that's Which the kind of character like I am. Brittany. <laughs> oh, so sweet. <laughs> wow, you guys are not very nice to each other. Great. Oh, no, this is nothing. This is just like our day-to-day -day banter. Oh, okay. Yeah, we yeah. Are, we're, we're I was good, worried that it's like uh, you, you need a heal, but you're like, ah, oh, you said that thing to me earlier, and uh, <laughs> I don't feel yeah, don't, like don't put it past her. She might not. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> I will always heal you. So to open this adventure, you have all gathered at Zanzera and B Nastier's house. Era, you don't live with them. You're from a an aerial plane, but you like them and you uh, come to visit them. You're all friends. You all get together once a week for uh, a drinking game you call dice, where you you roll dice and then you drink that much seconds. Nice. It's not, it's not a very complex game, but it's one B Nastier can keep up with. Yeah, and so I bet. It gets the job done. It sounds it's, like it's the one. Yeah, it's the one you enjoy. You're living on the outskirts of Loham Village, which is next to Loham Lake. Things are usually pretty peaceful here, but lately when you go into Loham Village for supplies, uh, for ale or meat or whatever, you notice that the villagers are whispering that there, there have been disappearances and strange creatures sighted in the surrounding countryside. And you even heard that King Elzar was sending out his own son, uh, Prince Renard, to do a reconnaissance in the area and see what was going on with all these reports and disappearances because Loham Village does fall in the kingdom of Reglis, which is ruled by Elzar. But aside from that, you live a pretty peaceful life out here. It is a double full moon in the sky. Uh, mm. The world of Tithyria has two moons, so it is a double full moon. So you're all playing dice. We will jump in there. You guys can uh, can talk as you as you play your game. Okay, so all who's right. going first? All right, just pick a dice and roll it. Oh, you're going for the big dice. Oh, uh, okay, a, a, a D6. I picked up a D6. Are we all just gonna roll dice? Sure. I'm gonna roll a dice. Roll a dice to see, because you gotta see how long you, you drink for. Oh, okay. yeah. So we should probably all roll the same dice. <laughs> yes, D6. Okay. D6. So, see, we're a little drunk by this point, if you can't tell. Yeah. All right. I noticed. I got a five. Five seconds of chuggy, ladies. Two. The gods are with oh. me. You get a two. I also got a five. This is what <laughs> it is to be blessed. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't enough. I drink for five seconds, fantastic. I'm gonna throw another dice, only got a one. Okay, clearly, clearly something's wrong. <laughs> you wanna keep drinking? Is that what you're saying? Be nasty. Well, I'm really, listen, I'm very upset because I rolled a one and I don't know what to do with all of my rage. You, you drink it. No one is stopping you from drinking more. The whole point of this game, being nastier, is to, you know, get loose with it. See, that's one of the things I love about Era. She knows how to talk to me. Okay, I got a five. I don't know how long it takes for me to get drunk, though, in this game. You, you are 300-ish pounds. Yeah. It's true. 
All right, so, let's just keep going. Let's go. Uh, as you are all drinking and having a jolly old time, there is a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, uh, did you just burp at the door? I'll get it. Okay, so I walk <laughs> over and open the door. And on the other side of the door, uh, you, you find a dwarf who's actually uh, quite out of breath. I'm so sorry to bother you, uh, but I've been instructed by King Elzar to stop at every house uh, and cottage I see along the way to Loham Village and to relay the following message from our king himself. Uh, for you see, Prince Renard has gone missing. It has been over a fortnight uh, since he reported uh, by Falcon back to the king. And King Elzar is extremely, extremely worried. He's looking for any information on, on Prince Renard. And more than that, he's offering a large reward for anyone who can return his son safely to them. As you might have heard, uh, Prince Renard went looking for the source of these disturbances around Loham village. Uh, the villagers kept reporting dis disturbances. The king set out Prince Renard. Prince Renard went out to investigate, and he has not come back. The king is very worried about this. Um, do you have any information as to where Prince Renard might be? How much is the We're reward? Just... Oh, wow. The reward right. is 500 gold pieces for the safe return. Steimer, how much mortgage do we got on this bitch? This is a hut I built, so... Oh, nothing. so we don't owe anything. I we see no reason to help these people, if you're asking me. Come along with me. But they you love the a doors. Fight. You love a fight. I do. You know, I we do. could get into a pretty good fight, be nastier. And as, you know, Zanzara mentioned, you do love a fight. And let's be honest, we can only keep playing this drinking game for so many more hours anyway. And adventure sounds exciting. Be nastier. How much? How many times have you fought piss drunk? A lot. Oh, well, doesn't really work when you answer it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll be fine. Yeah. I was going to say it was a new challenge, but it is not. <laughs> <laughs> have you met me? Uh, so or stick you with what you know. Where where was the prince last seen, or did, do you know anything? Because we we've been sitting here drinking, in all honesty. <laughs> well, we don't I know much. Yes, uh, the the last correspondence Prince Renard sent said he was going to investigate Strathorn Tower. Strathorn Tower. He believed that the source of the disturbances was coming to that from there. And the last correspondence we received by Falcon to the castle said he was going to Strathorn Tower, but then nothing after that. No no further correspondence. How far is Strathorn Tower? Not I'm not from, from here. Oh. Yeah, I'm not from around these parts. Um, and we haven't met acquaintance. Good. What is your name, sir? I am Lilith. Lilith, the king's advisor. Oh, be fancy. Uh, you think yes. the king's well, advisor would be a lot more intimidating? He's very fine. concerned. Well, I don't intimidate. I mostly advise. He's very concerned, though, for he sent me, uh, his favorite advisor, out to deliver this message to everyone in the countryside. So could you tell me a little bit more about uh, Prince Renard? I never made his acquaintance either. Uh, what does the fellow look like? So if we're going to go searching for him, we can know what he looks ah, like. Ah, yes. Prince Renard, like his father, he is blonde of hair. He has a regal suit of armor, a shining silver, fair complexion, and uh, about, uh, I would say, uh, six foot high. He's a is regular he old Prince Charming, isn't is he? he? Is he married? Uh, he is not yet married. He is not <laughs> betrothed. He is not married. He is a single prince. All right, ladies, I've changed my mind. This guy has deep pockets. <laughs> the deeper pockets, the more alcohol we can buy. Yes, and if you do, again, if you do uh, manage to help him return safely to his father, his father has pr promised a reward of 500 gold pieces. I I must leave now. I must rally anyone who's willing to go help in this of search. Of course, of course. Can you, before you go, just point in the direction of this tower? Yes, Which way yes. Are we going? In fact, uh... In fact, he gave me several maps to give out. Do thank you, map, sir. Uh, Good luck on your journey. Yes, thank you. Politely closes the door uh, behind himself. And, he didn't uh, shut the door all the way. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on uh, an adventure. Uh, do we like? Are we going? We going now? I mean, technically, guys, like I can see in the dark, so it's cool. But I don't know how 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 drunk we all feel. Are we ready to just roll, or do you want to like pick up some stuff? Well, if he's going back to town to rally more people to go out, that's competition for us that's for true. that prize. And 500 gold is nothing to shake a stick at. That you could know, buy us a lot of stuff. I don't want for much in this world. But the 500 gold would like mean we could have a lot more dice nights with like better mead. So 
And I can get a more comfortable bed because it looks like I'm sleeping on a haystack. You or whatever that is in the back corner. I brought it for you from the village. I'm drunk but maybe the she just wants like a like a goose feather pillow. Yeah. Go <laughs> with her haystack. All right. We'll I think the point pillow. is we all have things we could buy with this money. You know, I could always, you know, use it to take more time off of work to come visit this realm. And come on, we haven't had a good old adventure in a long time. Well, Let's go. We've got a map and uh, I would really look. Can you like, you know, fly up and maybe scout ahead? I sure can. Great. Perfect. Let's go. We'll As grab you whatever things we need. Like, One more I drink. Oh, uh, one more I rolled drink? A six. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a six. Let's go. Oh, Hold on. We, all, we should all ever. roll All right. A, a parting drink for Four. the road. As you're all having your final drink, uh, you hear a scream from outside. Oh, no. Ah! 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 That sounds like our little pitiful dwarf uh, friend. We should go check something. on him. Yeah. I feel like he's probably dead. So <laughs> let's go check. Okay. The gang rushes outside to help the king's advisor, but it is too late as he's already been torn to shreds by vicious creatures. Is that oh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex? It's a freaking T-Rex. Or is it a raptor? It's a oh, it looks like a raptor. It's yeah, a it's a actually, raptor. I'm sorry, I, I should, uh, roll perception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A that 10. is a 10. My perception is only plus one, so it would be 11. Okay. Uh, so you're able to identify one of the creatures as a were-raptor. A wow. were-raptor? <laughs> This creature is a velociraptor that was bitten by a werewolf and is now a were-raptor. What? Um, okay. Uh, so this were-raptor uh, is chowing down on Lilith, who appears uh, uh, along with two other creatures that you weren't quite, uh, uh, do you have dark vision? And in the shadows of this other creature, you could see one one human-sized creature and another, uh, another much smaller creature all gathered around kind of eating Lilith. Oh. Oh my God! Oh no, no um, Lulid! Right. If I had any empathy, I'd feel bad for him. Mm -hmm. Have any of you ever fought a were raptor before? You, you've all played D and D a bit. Nope. Uh, no. This Never. Is the first. Yeah. Totally a real creature too. It's terrifying. Yeah. Do you wanna? I, I know it's meta gaming, but if you want, I could give you a sneak peek at. Uh, I have the monster manual here. And I can Ooh, give you cool. a sneak peek. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That sounds so awesome. Could, yeah. So you can see that's it's totally a real thing. Oh and, my uh, God! Yeah, wow, it's, it's it's very fearsome. Um, so they're not really. I'm sorry, it's looking at you, but it shouldn't be. They're not really paying attention to you yet. Uh, they're chowing down on this dude they've just eaten. Well, Zanzara, I feel like we got to uh, take care of this little problem. They're very close to our house. Be nastier. And I'd be really can you upset. take the big one? We yeah. can take the smaller ones. Of course. Great. Yeah, we're gonna have a fucking wear raptor for dinner. It's gonna be great. Ooh, that's a yeah. Maybe we can make some jerky. Ooh, I love oh, yeah. jerky. <laughs> I love a good wear raptor jerky. <laughs> yes. The key. You gotta add enough sugar. Brown sugar mm -hmm. is the key mm -hmm. when making Carmel's jerky. Like, okay, this guy's dying. Okay, let's, let's hit go. shit. Let's, let's hit shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna smack it. Okay, so Be Nasty wants to just run up and smack that wear raptor, right? Yeah. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, yeah. all of you need to now roll for initiative. 17. Oh man, the raptor got 19. 20! <laughs> Three. I got a 20. You didn't roll well on initiative. Uh, it's those damn roots. I charged forward. Um, I tripped over the roots in front of the house. I've been telling Zanzara that we need to freaking cut them. And I tripped and now I'm rolling around in the mud. Okay, I love that, yeah. So you charge forward. Uh, you're like, I'm gonna get this raptor. You trip. Uh, you yeah. alert the raptor who looks at you. Um, however, Era uh, is lightning quick bird-like, eagle-like reflexes, and she sees her friends in trouble, and it is her turn to act. Seeing that Zanzara is close by, but that Be Nastier has taken a little spill, I have to weigh my actions carefully. This were-raptor means business, but I've had a couple drinks, and I'm feeling pretty confident. <laughs> 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 so... I'm going to take flight and I'm okay. going to cast a spell. You are now flying. You are now in the air. How, how high do you fly? Well, I don't want to go too high. I'd say probably, I'll probably be about 15 feet in the air. Because okay. the were raptor is not more than 10 feet tall, is it? No, no, no. The were raptor is only like uh, eight feet tall. After I've decided to take flight, I'm going to cast frostbite to try to slow this were-raptor down. 
11. So the raptor oh. has failed its saving throw. And I mean, now, yay! Yes. Uh, now you get to roll 1d6 of damage on the raptor. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Five. That's pretty good. I'll take it. It's a five. Okay. The raptor takes five cold damage. Uh, you can describe if you'd like uh, what happens as you as you summon this spell. As I am summoning the spell against the were raptor and I'm casting it, his talons start to freeze in place, making it difficult for him to strike out. He lets out a gutter like, ah! <laughs> he does not like what you've done at all. And he turns towards you. Now the raptor, uh, it looks at you, uh, but it doesn't think it could jump that high. It's mad at you, but it also uh, sees you're flying above. So it's going to turn to, uh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the divine god hand yeah. intervenes. I'm going to turn to Be Nasty, who's uh, rolling around in the mud. I'll uh, I'll let you get up as a free action, Be Nasty, if you'd like right now, or as a reaction to this raptor charging you. Uh, but it is going to charge you. That would be lovely. I'd love to get up from my okay. mud infested <laughs> pit. Love to get up from so the you, mud. you see the raptor charging, and you stand up, so you're not prone, because otherwise I get to roll with attack or roll with advantage. And then uh, this raptor is going to attack you, and it has two talons, so it has multi attack. Great. So it's going to get two attacks in. That is a natural one. Uh, if you saw that, uh, that's a that's what I like to call uh, in my experience a classic laser corn roll. I roll like that a lot, and that's why I wasn't able to kill anyone last time. Uh, this raptor charges you. It's not very smart. It slips in the very same mud that you slipped in. It is now prone. And it it gets its it loses its second attack. I feel like this wear raptor and I have a lot in common. Oh my god! Yeah, it's, it's like your I'm just sitting spirit there and I just put my head in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you love me because I bring the fire in. <sighs> I'm off. I'm off to a great start. As a DM Both of here. us are. It's great. Yeah. Uh, Zanzera, it is now your turn. Oh my god. Um, I'll I'll let you make a perception check on the other two to see if you can identify them. Great, I got five, so a six. A <laughs> uh, six. So uh, perceptive. Yeah. I do yes. have dark vision. <laughs> yeah, so you use your dark vision and you squint, uh, but it's kind of foggy out tonight, and you're like, eh, I don't know, I don't know what those things and are, uh, but they're definitely, yeah, and you're, oh yes, and you're a little drunk, and you're kind of groggy, you're like, eh, I don't know what they are, but they're looking at me funny. Uh, <laughs> so I can tell that they are looking at me now and they're not eating that guy anymore? Yeah, yeah, they have looked up. Uh, yeah, they see some commotion going on. The the uh, the were raptor has gone down. It splashed up mud and made made a noise. So yeah, they're looking at you now. Cool. Um. So I'm gonna go. Okay. I look down at the my friend in the mud and the were raptor in the mud, and I just go, you, you guys, you guys got this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. So I just like I try and make my way over to the other two creatures. Um, okay. I can't really sneak because like they see me, but. I would like to try and punch someone. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah. you, know, you notice one, so you, you can't tell what they are, but you notice one creature as you run up is uh, humanoid. It's about as large as a human. It is winged. Um, oh shit, and it, it's got yeah, wings. It does have wings. And uh, the other creature is about uh, the size of a chicken and it's kind of like a lizard creature. So you a have your chicken? choice between, uh, yeah, it's, it's about the size of a so chicken. So it's kickable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could try and punt it. Chicken can kicker I, from Fable, can let's I, go. Can I kick the chicken? We're not the, okay, not, uh, not so the chicken, but. <laughs> you would like to run up and punt the chicken-sized creature. <laughs> I would creature. love to run up and punt the chicken thing, okay, whatever so that I'm is. Gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say that you leap over, uh, you leap over the fallen body of Lulith that's just oozing blood and has several chunks of it missing from being Eesh. bitten. Give me, um, give me an acrobatics check because run, leap, kick, Sure. Uh, or I'm sorry, or athletics check. Damn, no, so, go back to acrobatics. <laughs> no, athletics. Did you did did you do soccer? No, I just anything? no, I haven't rolled yet, but I my acrobatics is a plus three, my athletics is a plus two. <laughs> I want athletics, because this is like a soccer kick you're Damn, doing right here. Fine. You got this. Okay, that's a nineteen plus two. Holy so shit. So I think I'm really good at this. You're yeah. really good at this, Zanzara! You succeed. Uh, tell us what this looks like as you run up and, and punt this. Tiny, okay, so uh, I so I already was like mm, to the to the people in the mud, and then I was like, <laughs> I can kind of see 
something small enough to kick. And I just, it harkens me back to the days of old where I used to kick like coconuts around. So I just start running for it. I bypass <laughs> the winged dude creature and I just plant my foot down. I don't hit it with the toe because you never hit it with the toe. You got to hit it with like the side of your foot. And I just punt that little bastard and he goes Actually, I don't know where he goes. You can tell me where he goes, but. <laughs> you connect, you connect hardcore. Yeah, this little chicken creature, it looks up, it's like. And it gets punted into a bush. And you hear it, yeah, and you hear it kind of fluttering, or like flutter flapping around. And, you bended uh, that you, shit like Beckham. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you rolled so well, I will say you also, uh, as you ran up and actually made contact with it, you were able to identify it is a uh, were chicken. Oh, which is a, a chicken, chicken. <laughs> a chicken that's been bitten by a were raptor. Oh my god! And now transforms into a half chicken, half raptor thing. Every huh. every double full moon, only on double full moons. Are they like actually dangerous, or did I just punt this chicken for no reason? <laughs> no, they're dangerous. It okay, was eating yeah. that person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If, okay. Uh, a group of were chickens. You're lucky. There's only one actually. If there oh, were a group nice. of were chickens. A flock of were chickens. Well, I, well, I, yeah. Did I, I mean, do have, damage to it? Yes, yes, you also do. Great. Actually, give me give me a d6. Give me a d6. Aw, oh, three. <laughs> yeah, you do three damage to it. But okay. it doesn't have a lot of hit points, so. Sure. That's it's just true. a chicken. It's just a chicken. That was bitten by a were raptor somehow and didn't But survive die. that. Yeah, survive that. And now look at okay. it. It's in a bush. Yeah, so it's in a bush. It is, uh, <laughs> it is flustered. Okay, we go now. Uh, we go now to the uh, other creature uh, who uses its wings. To take flight. No. You're like that's my thing. <laughs> Air battle. Drunk. Being another creature, where creature also has multi attack. It's gonna slash at you with two uh, razor sharp talents. Yikes. Okay, that's a 15 plus two to attack. So that's a 17. Does that beat your armor class? Yes. But you could use the, the shield. Yeah. I've yeah. got a shield, don't I? <laughs> so you you cast shield, your AC becomes uh, gets an extra five, making it your AC is now twenty. Twenty. So seventeen does not hit. So what happens is as uh, the and as you get close, I will let you identify that is a were eagle. Ooh. That is an uh, yes. Were eagle. Yes, that is a werewolf that has been bitten by a were eagle, and is now a, a were eagle. <laughs> and it appears it's an eagle that's been bitten by a werewolf? No, no, it's a werewolf that's been bitten by an eagle. I could see where you'd make that mistake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Eagles bite? Britt, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah, they use their, their beaks and they bite and they uh, they create those things. Uh, but as it as it reaches in with those talons to attack you, it's slashing for your mid midsection, but a magical uh, white light flares up. <laughs> And the, the talons recoil as if striking something solid. And we must now go to uh, the chicken raptor who has been punted into a bush. <laughs> uh, the chicken raptor, although punted into a bush, is actually uh, very fast. It has 30 movement. It's going to use one action to get up. <laughs> oh man. Am I having a stare down with this chicken? You're so lucky. You're so lucky. You happen to punt it 35 feet. Hell you are just yeah. out of range. So it stands up and rushes you again. Uh, but it is what it is five feet away from you now. Actually, you know what? From that five feet, it hisses, goes, and it spits some kind of green goo at you. I rolled a three. Oh, okay. So you do. <laughs> you can see here. That's a three. Uh, so you do indeed dodge it. Uh, nice. You you see it. It's uh, apparently somewhat shaken up. Perhaps it uh, its vision was impaired by that bone shattering kick you gave it, and so you dodge slightly to the right, and whatever it spit at you uh, goes right by uh, your shoulder. Good work, Chicken Raptor. Uh, <laughs> And now uh, we're to our, our last character who has finally struggled up out of the mud. Uh, be nasty, go ahead. Ah, uh, yes, I am drunk, I am angry. Yeah. I take some of the mud that's at my feet and I give myself some under eye stripes of war paint, you see. And now I'm ready to kick some were raptor ass. 
I was thinking about punching this wear raptor with my bare hands, and then I realized that you know the adrenaline was kind of wearing off, uh, you know, the alcohol, if you will. And so I figured, you know, I should probably use my two-handed maul. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my two-handed maul to hit this prone wear raptor. So now I roll two d6 plus three, correct? Well, uh, you haven't hit it yet. You got to roll oh. for attack. So, okay. And I'm going to give you an advantage. So uh, roll 2d20 or roll 1d20 twice and take the higher number because this where, uh, where raptor is down. My highest number is a 17. Okay, that's going to hit. Uh, roll me damage. 2d6 plus 3 of bludgeoning damage. 2d6. Oh, fuck. Two plus three, so five. Oh, no. Okay. Plus bludgeoning. So five damage. It already took five cold damage, though. Okay. So it's it's still alive, but you bring it down with uh, quite a bit of force, and it goes. Aah! Good. And then, uh, as a reaction, it stands back up. Okay. Top of the order, we're back at Era. So now I feel like this Were Eagle has pissed me off, and it's time mm -hmm. to show it who's boss. So okay. I decide I'm going to cast my ray of frost to freeze its wings so it drops out of the sky. Ooh, I love that idea. Okay, roll a ranged attack for me. 11. Not bad, but not great. So unfortunately, that is not going to beat the wear uh, eagle's thick armor. So its wings are kind of almost magically protected as it's, uh, it has that kind of strength. So uh, you fire at it and uh, it hits the wings, but you can see the wings just keep flapping and you only seem to have irritated the were raptor. Dang it. Or, I'm sorry, the were eagle. Over to the were raptor who has stood back up and it's going to try and bite uh, be nasty. That is, <laughs> that is an 11 plus Three, does that hit? My armor class is 13. Wait, oh, okay. That's pretty low. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this uh, this were raptor does uh, does think it's teeth into you for three damage. <laughs> <laughs> so this chicken just spat at me, which is Correct. disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm even more irritated. So I grab my, can you say it, halberd? Is that what it's called? Yeah, sure. Uh, Your halberd. And I decide that I'm gonna try and impale this little son bitch. <laughs> I would like chicken on a stick, please. Yes. I'm a hungry for <laughs> hungry, hungry my hobo. cousin Weird chicken. bird. Ooh, got okay. weird. Got weird, everybody. <laughs> got weird. Six. Wait, do I add anything? No, I don't add anything to that. Unfortunately, that is going to miss. Uh, so that where chicken flaps its little where chicken wings and it uh, dodges slightly away from you. And, we are just uh, having a rough go. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough out there. No one's really hitting on either side. Let's be honest. <laughs> We're the all hitting. Fell... Drunk and it's the moonlight. I don't know. The raptor weird. fell in the mud. Yeah. We should have slept it off. We should have slept off the yeah. yeah. It's fine. Okay, so that was Zanzara. Uh, and now uh, we'll go to Be Nasty. I'm reading, I am very upset because I have just been bitten by a were raptor. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna have another go at this motherfucker. All right, rolling a D20. I got a 16. That's going to hit. That's right. Now yeah. I'm gonna smack you. All right, now I've got my heavy maul. I'm gonna go for round two. Hopefully I'll hit something other than uh, its tail this time. My two D6 equal to a three plus two, uh, a plus three. So I do six points of damage. <laughs> six points of damage, okay, good. You hit it right in its rib cage and you did crack some ribs. Uh, okay. But unfortunately, uh, that is not enough to stop that were raptor. Uh, okay, over to uh, the were eagle. And the Were Eagle is going to use is going to use bite. So it's coming in with its beak this time. And it's gonna try and peck your eyes out. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Rough chuckles. Jeez. And I've rolled a four. So I miss. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, take that. Excelsior! I don't, 
I don't know how I roll so bad. So the Were Eagle uh, sucks. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that fr maybe that frost did slow it down a little bit. It's going to use, uh, but it's going to use multi attack, and it's going to slash in with one of those claws too. Fine. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Chicken Raptor uh, oh. is up. Let's move up. Let's move in for a bite for, from Chicken Raptor. 19, yes! Does that yeah, beat your armor class? Plus of two? Of course, 21? yeah, my armor class is 16. <laughs> All right, excellent. Your so, armor class uh, is bigger than mine. That's messed up. Yeah, well, you gotta have somebody still alive. Yeah. Three plus two. Uh, so you take five damage from this little Chicken Raptor. <laughs> Good Lord! Yeah, it, it bites onto your ankle and it's shredding your leg. God. I shake it, but it obviously doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Over to Era. Seeing that the Were Eagle easily brushed off my last attack, I've decided to change tactics. Instead, I am going to cast Shocking Grasp so I can fell it to the ground where I hope my friend Be Nastier will stomp its face into the mud. I'd love to, baby girl. I'm kind of having some trouble with this raptor, but you know, <laughs> I, I got you. Well, it's a four and an eight, so not my best work. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> We're all That's, doing great uh, tonight! Yep. Yikes! Uh, <laughs> are we all gonna die on this first fight? <laughs> you Probably. We're not gonna make it beyond the first fight. Our regards, Prince Renard. We will see you uh, in the yeah, afterlife. So you, <laughs> you, go to, you go to grab this thing, but it moves out of the way. It's, it's uh, crafty and it's fast, and it's good in the air. It's good with those wings. Uh, so unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, no shocking grasp for you. Four and an eight, really? Off two dice? I know, uh, I know. I looked right. at the eight and I was like, is that an eight? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Good. Over to the raptor. Now I got one on Britain. Oh, it got me. Oh, it got, got me. I got, right. yeah, I got a yeah. zombie wear bite in my arm now. It's great. Are you going to become a wear raptor now? Am I a wear ogre, yep. a wear goliath? Okay, uh, it's coming in with those talons. It misses. Thank and God. Okay, but the second, so the first talent misses, but the second is a 19. I believe that plus two, I believe that beats your armor class. Yes, it does. Okay. Five Tis damage. but a flesh wound. Five damage to you, be nasty. You're, you're, you're liking this a little too much. I can hear I it do. in your voice. I do, I want to kill you. I feel so, like, but like, this, shouldn't you want to kill us once we've progressed No, at all I want to kill you story? right now. It's It swings in and it it slashes with its talons and it cuts you uh, right, right about the midsection. <laughs> And uh, yeah, one of those talents connects hardcore, and you are bleeding. I have a feeling that the story of Zanzara, Ura, and uh, being nasty is gonna be a short-lived uh, saga. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. I mean, I try and I try and do the same thing. Uh, I have my pole still, and I'm still trying to like stab. Okay. Stab, <laughs> stab that chicken. Come on, dice. Come on. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. What'd you what get? You roll? It's a five. Okay. I'll say that. Uh, you uh, you initiate drunken flailing because you've had a few drinks. <laughs> Wind you get, a, you get a second attack. That's a 16. Yes, that hits. Uh, roll me some damage. Okay. So th three. Three damage. You do one d10 uh, plus three. Plus so three, so that's three, so six. six. That is enough to kill. Hell uh, yes. The wear chicken. Oh wow. I mean, yeah, I, I'm just like, chicken up, ladies, I stab it down, and it just goes, Bruh! and then like the little, I assume they're red, beady eyes, just yes. the light in them dies out and they go dark. Love Excellent. to see it. Yes. Over to Be Nasty, who's fighting that raptor. That uh, raptor. I am going to go into a rage. I'm going to roll a d20. And I got a fucking three. Okay. Brit, no. Why are we all so bad at this tonight? Uh, yeah, you you miss. <laughs> okay, so that was your turn. The were eagle smells blood on B nasty, and it's gonna swoop and dive bomb B nasty. <laughs> no. Come get some. Yeah. It's okay. I've always wanted to go out like this. It's fine. Just make sure that someone takes oh care my of my god, girls. Oh my god, nineteen. Uh, with one of its claws. Hmm. For four damage. Shit. Okay. Are you down? How many HP do you have left? I have two. Oh shit! Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Can you heal? No. I think I have to That's touch e them. Okay, you're being uh, double team there, but one, but the were chicken is down, and now we move on to uh, the chicken raptor is dead. Okay, so back to Era. 
Seeing that the Were Eagle has descended to try to finish off my pal, be nastier, and I cannot let this stand, I swoop in and whip my daggers out of my side belt thing. <laughs> Your Batman <laughs> gadget pouch. <laughs> and I raise them to strike this were eagle to its death. Okay. Uh, roll two attacks. One for each dagger. D20. Help me. I'm trying. Help me. Okay. I'm a seven foot tall ogre that can't help itself or Goliath. Excuse me. Double tens. I got a ten and a ten. Well, its its back is to you, so I'm gonna say that hits. Thank yes. You. <clears throat> nice. Uh, so you swoop in, and uh, this thing had gotten distracted. It didn't see you as much of a threat, but now you swoop in and you start stabbing its back, and you do uh one d four plus two for each dagger. Get it. Get it. So one dagger does four plus two is six, and another dagger does six plus two is eight. So I have no. six damage and eight damage. Yes. Stab, 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 stab. So uh, you stab it repeatedly. These are daggers gifted to you uh, by your grandma. These are family daggers, and they're made of silver. And silver uh, is unfortunately the bane of all were creatures, as you know. Yes, uh, that's right. So this creature recoils in pain and screams out, rah, 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 squawk, and then, uh, <laughs> and then collapses in a pile of feathers and flesh and dies. Good, nice. Yeah. Yes. Oh no, you fell too. You fell from the sky. <laughs> It's that damn shot, man. <laughs> you are drunk. Okay, uh, great. So you've killed the were eagle. Just doing barrel rolls. Whatever. I love it. Uh, <laughs> now we go over to uh, the raptor. Uh, uh, however, you did uh, descend down to where the uh, where to to where the were eagle was. Yes, wow. I want whatever she had. Yeah. So the raptor <laughs> will jump at you and attack you. Oh no. Yes, it sees you've killed its comrade and it is not happy. It rolls a 14 plus two. What's Both your armor? Plus two. 15. Okay, that so hit. that hits. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Points do you have left? Three. You should have all your points. Yeah, yeah so I have seven, so now I have four. Oh, okay. Yeah, now yeah. you get four. Three damage. Slash, slash. Ah. <sighs> Motherfucking right. were raptor. <laughs> Damn were raptors. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, and then it is, uh, so that was the raptor's turn. Uh, now it's me. Yes, Zanzara. Um, I would like to check on the downed person since he's on the way to the Absolutely, you could do that. You turn to Lilith and you to check his vitals. He is super dead. Cool. <laughs> so I'm not going to waste my he's time with him. He's half eaten. Yeah. Okay. Um, I... I don't know if I can make it to the raptor distance-wise. Yeah. Help me. I give it to you. What okay. Um, I would like to run up and try and basically, with the chicken still on my um, my <laughs> weapon, I would like to ram the chicken <laughs> into his backside. Like right up the backside. Right up like, the butt? Like in the blue like, hole? Like I want like a turducken situation. <laughs> But with the were raptor and the were chicken. Ter raptin. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh or my okay, so, uh, or whatever. <laughs> roll me a d20. Please, dice. Please. This sounds so cool. Please. Don't let me fail. Don't let me fail. Damn it. I got a four. No. It was sound. Oh. Good. Okay, okay so it's, it. it's back is turn. So advantage. So 2d20. What's your second d20? A 19! Yay! No. That hits! Yes! That hits. Woo! What is, uh, roll me some damage. Uh, what do I roll? Oh, D10. A three. Oh, oh. So six oh, damage. Three. Yep, and this one has taken some damage already from the, uh, some cold damage and some bludgeoning damage, and that's gonna be enough to kill it, so go ahead and oh, describe thank God. this Woo! Raptor's brutal demise. <laughs> Okay, All right. so I would like to make a pelt out of the hide of this were raptor. You are, okay. Well, okay. So don't when you shove it up the booty hole, like don't destroy too much of like the backside is all I'm saying. 
I'll do what I can. Cause so what okay. I have in mind is so I've got I've got my it's not a spear, but you know, <laughs> double-handed. I go. I basically shove the chicken all the way up through the entirety of the raptor, so the chicken comes out the mouth. Oh, wow, gross. I'm into it. That's, That's impressive. Yeah. And I'm despite impressed. me being on my deathbed, like that just gave me a reason to live. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so it's like. <laughs> so it like yeah, you feel like the raptor like has a moment of surprise, <laughs> shock from like the first entry to the, like ah, and then like. <laughs> The chicken wow. is there. That was <laughs> brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Can we still eat the, the chicken, chicken now? raptor? I mean, you can. It's now covered in it's, wear you know, raptor intestines, and it is I'll, part. It is part raptor because it is a chicken that's been bitten by a raptor. It's true. I was just right. really looking to that jerky with that sugar that we you know. Make. Um, yeah. awful is you know a delicacy in a lot of places, so I really just was seasoning the chicken. Okay. So that works so good. Me. Great. So all these uh, monsters have been defeated. Man, there are more monsters out. Uh, this this is getting to be a dangerous neighborhood. I would but, like to go tend to my wounds, please. Yes. I'm on my literal deathbed. I am also wounded. I think we were very brave to try to strike out immediately, but we clearly uh, got our booties handed to us, so we need to take a rest, I would imagine, would work out nicely. I think yeah. it would be prudent if we all maybe went to bed, slept this off, and try it again in the morning. We all know already now that um, no one else in town is going to hear about this because our poor friend is dead. So there's no more people getting this message. It's up to us now. Let's Talk about our poor dead friend. Yeah. <laughs> should we uh, do anything with his mangled body? Should we uh, just leave it out there? Uh, we should probably go it. investigate and see if he has anything in his pockets that he wasn't telling us about. Yeah, we could go search him and then bury him. I'm not going to search his body because that's against my vows, but like. If you two want to search his I body, have no I qualms. I have no problems. I will tear him apart even more than he's already torn apart. Okay, let's leave Oh, excellent. So you're a, you're a paladin, and that is against your vows as a paladin to search through a corpse. That's why right? I said I wasn't doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. No, no. Okay. That's great. No, okay, I love great. that you're uh, that you're standing by those vows. So you you turn away. You're like I turn I, away. I pretend yeah. like I'm not saying it. Okay. Uh, I actually will start digging a grave for him. Is what I'll do. Okay, you go. You can do that because my personality trait is I put no trust in divine beings. I live for the thrill of the hunt. I don't believe in that religious shit. So let's yep. go see what this guy has on him. So you rifle through his pockets. Uh, you find uh, thirty gold as well as this decree from the king. You know he's not lying. The king is really offering five hundred uh, gold pieces for the return of his missing son. Uh, and you find some basic rations on him and. Uh, a basic dagger as well for personal protection. It obviously didn't help him much against those were creatures. <laughs> and you already have some daggers. Uh, at least Era does. Some nice silver ones. So um, so yeah, so that's it. 30 gold pieces and, and some basic rations is really the only thing of use there. All right, so I'll grab him by what remains of his leg and I'll drag him over to the grave that Zanzara is building and I'll just toss him in there and go back in the house. Okay, and do you take the 30 gold pieces or do you bury him with it? Oh, absolutely, I take that. Take okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he doesn't need it. Anymore. Need it where he's right, going. Right, need it. Write that down. Add it to your money, and uh, you have the uh, thirty gold pieces. Okay. And uh, yeah, you have buried. Hold on. He's buried out back of your house. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, no one ever investigates. There's not like a force and team out there, because then you'd have to explain a dead king advisor outside your house. Yeah. But I, uh, okay. I mean, I, I think it's fine. And you, uh, so you would like to sleep it off, uh, wait till morning, tend to your wounds, and uh, and start fresh in the morning? Yeah. Start sober. Since yeah. I am, you know, uh, a paladin, I heal them over the night and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I make sure everybody's Great. tip top. The next morning. Great. Yeah. Yep. You rest up, yep. and with the magical energies flowing forth from the paladin, you are fully healed, fully restored. All your spells are back, and uh, you're ready to set out on this rescue mission is what it really is. Okay. So you have a path to the north. That just kind of leads up into the mountains, and then a pass south that leads to uh, Stratmore Tower. Maybe we should have Era do a little recon up in the air. Because my friends here have asked that I do a little scouting, I take flight and fly the maximum I can, which is 50 mm -hmm. feet out in advance, to scope out the area. As I'm looking yeah. around, the trees are obscuring a lot of my vision of the ground, so I don't see a whole lot, but at least I don't see any were raptors in the mm -hmm. immediate vicinity, so that's a good sign. Don't you have to yeah. roll for it? <laughs> Does she also, need to roll perception? Sure, roll perception for me. 
Well, let's see if this actually happens. I was just describing it in oh, advance. I see. I oh, see. yeah. Okay. 16? 16. 19? 16. Woo! 16. 16. 16. Okay. 16. 16. Mm -hmm. The trees do obscure your vision, uh, but you have sharp eagle eyes. You can almost peer through the branches, and you don't see anything uh, really moving around out there. The, uh, you know there's no more were creatures uh, for sure because they only come out, uh, those specific ones only come out during a double full moon because they are twice bitten. Yeah, the path looks clear. Path, she can path see the to... tower? I would assume she could see the tower if it's a tower. No, it's, it's not that far away, but you can't yet see the tower. Probably a, like a, an hour's walk down the southern path, you'll probably come in view of the tower. Let's go. Let's okay. go on a journey. You've got Era in the air, and she can see Strat Stratmore Tower from here. It's across this ford in the river, and then uh, directly in front is a ruins, uh, an ancient ruins. No one really knows uh, who built these ruins. It's been here forever. Uh, it's kind of a no man's land, so no army really controls this area. It's kind of been abandoned by both sides. There's a someone's built a little fishing cabin off up to your right. You could see uh, there's some abandoned uh, battle supplies. Something is over there. Uh, straight ahead, uh, the ruins, and beyond that, the tower. So you're you're in range to investigate this tower, where the prince was last seen. Guess, I mean, my perception is not good, but we should look for, I guess, any sign of like a recent struggle, if you'd be even be able to discern that, because like this place is in shambles. Mm -hmm. Like the prince was really here. Like I mean, you're assuming some shit went down. He must have had forces with him. You would think. It like a small personal regimen of sorts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we talking mm -hmm. like a couple guards? Are we talking like a, like a small like a platoon? Just a uh, who, who's asking that them? question? Make a wisdom check for me. So my wisdom I'm sorry. Is actually, one. actually make a history check. I'm curious as to whether our Prince Renard has a legion of bodyguards and just how many there are. So let's check it out. Sweet! It's a one! It's a oh, one. Good. Plus four. Okay. So it's a Plus five. Plus four, so it's a five. <laughs> so, uh, the prince has visited Loham Village on many occasions. Uh, he comes out. He's a man of the people. He likes to come out, see how everyone's doing. You, however, uh, never once went to greet him or see him. Never once went to see what who he traveled with. Instead, you and your friends uh, stayed at Zanzara's house drinking uh, during his visit, so despite despite knowing about them and knowing that he was coming to town. You guys opted to stay drinking instead, so you don't know who he travels with. You have who no idea. Who cares about this prince guy anyway? Well, uh, however, I, however, I will say that your reconnaissance does seem to turn up some dead bodies. In fact. There are skeletons uh, strewn throughout here. As I said, it's a no man's land. This was uh, the site of quite a few battles between uh, the Empire of Pilgar and the Empire of Reglas. Uh, neither one seemed to be able to gain the upper hand and really gain this ground. So yeah, there are dead bodies and some appear more recent than the old battles that you remember. So how yeah. far, so what I think I would like to do is I'd like to ford the river, get to the other side so that I can get yeah. a little bit more within range of the tower. Mm -hmm. And then cast divine sense to see what what might be around the area. Okay, so would, do, are, do you all ford the river together? How deep so. is this river? Yes, don't might... split the party ever. Yeah, everybody uh, come with me. Yeah, I uh, am seven feet tall, ladies. If it's not that deep, I can probably just carry you. Well, I'm still um, in the she air, can fly, so I'm good. Okay, yeah, you're fine. But I can I can hop right. on your back if you want. Yeah, I feel oh, like my. this is a thing you and I usually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll hop so, on your back. That used to be my thing. Remember? That's your right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, well, okay. Yeah, I've moved so on. the river's uh, not that deep, especially at the ford. Uh, you're over now by the ruins, and you use sense, divine sense. Yeah. You sense mm -hmm. something evil in the ruins. There's also the cabin there. You're not sensing any specific evil, evil from that. The cabin looks recent. It's almost like someone realized that there was no one, no army really in control here, and just set up shop and just kind of claim this land and set up a little cabin. So we could ransack the cabin, mm -hmm. we could go through the ruins, or we could go around the ruins and get straight to the tower. If mm -hmm. there's something evil in the ruins, I don't know why we would poke that bear. Because that's probably what got the prince. Do we have to go through the ruins to get to Stratmore Tower? You do not, you could go around the no. ruins. Can we roll uh, perception to see if we see like horse tracks going into the ruins or anything? Yeah, yeah, roll perception for me. Or actually roll investigation. Uh, okay, uh, six. <clears throat> plus two? Or six yeah, that, total? That, that includes the oh, play, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I also uh, investigate? Yeah, go for it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't work out. You also got like a, you got a what? A it four? was a one or plus three. two is a, so oh, I have a three. 
Uh, so this is a very kind of muddy area, luckily for you. You're not a great investigator, but even you can discern that there are no tracks leading directly into the ruins. And in fact, uh, you do see uh, dried hoof prints uh, leading around the ruins to the right. You you think they went to the right around We should follow the ruins. tracks. We should follow the tracks. There are also battle supplies and other refuse around to the right, so wouldn't probably be a bad place to to go. I agree. We should definitely follow the tracks. Change of plans. Fuck mm. the ruins. Let's go. <laughs> you're not so you're not going into the the Correct. Uh, evil ruins. We're going around. Okay. You're sure? You're sure you don't want to go into the very evil we're, ruins? We're very <laughs> okay. positive. I feel good about not going there and dying. <laughs> we're not trying to be heroes. We're just trying to make some money. So to the right uh, are some crates that look like like leftover battle supplies. They look like they've been there a while. There's a falling apart wagon, and there is uh, a cannon among the ruins. But it's it's rusty, it's old, uh, but it is a cannon. Uh, and to your left are the ruins, and straight ahead is the tower, shrouded in mist. I am gonna attempt an investigation check just to see if there's anything of use in any in the cart or anywhere. Even though it's all very old, this is not the dice I'm looking for. Oh, never mind. That's a big fatty two, which is a three. So I probably not going to find anything. So yeah, you don't find anything useful, but uh, the cannon looks like it, it probably still works. Uh, yeah, like, huh. be nastier. Mm-hmm. Do you think you could push it with us? Sure. Anything for you, friend. Where do you want it? Do we really need to push a cannon with us? I don't know. Us? Wouldn't it Why come not? in handy? What if something's I, you know, in the mist? Do we have cannonballs for the cannon? Do we have gunpowder? Do we have something no, to light it with? No, we have a with? very That's light a bird friend that would fit probably <laughs> just right in a cannon. But you I don't do, need uh, to be shot out of a cannon. I can fly. <laughs> But you don't get the velocity if we're going to shoot you right at that tower. You know? uh, I mean, that's fair, but we still would need a way to light the cannon. would need gunpowder and all that rigmarole. Among the crates, you find gunpowder and three <laughs> cannonballs. <laughs> um, all would right. these help? Wow, Zanzara, aren't you just so helpful? <laughs> um, but what do you want to do with this cannon, friend? Um, I think we roll it with us. <laughs> <laughs> Then suddenly from the skies above, a great red dragon swoops down, landing near our adventurers. Oh, shit! It's a huge red dragon. Uh, It hasn't seen you yet. It's it's some ways away, and it's kind of like sniffing around. And it's just kind of looking around. It's a giant dragon. Uh, Shoot the fucking cannon. Hold on, everybody. Don't forget that I have dragon ancestors as a draconian sorcerer. So I can actually speak to this dragon. What? If Uh-oh. we want to talk to it before we attack it, maybe this dragon should yes. be on our side. Oh, I was going to say we should at least roll to like see if we know more about the dragon. Right. Okay. I just didn't know. I just wanted to make sure we yeah. had Wait, a little power. You, you have draconian? That's what it says under my features and traits. Okay. You can speak dragon. Answer. Great. Okay. It hasn't seen you. So, but yeah, you have the option. To, I suppose talk to it if you want. It's up to you. But basically, okay. this is smog. Is what we're talking about Kinda. here. Yeah, he's, he's very <laughs> smogish. Yeah, I can okay. do that. Okay. Yeah. Well, the uh, good news, you guys, is that one of my personality traits is that I am very eloquent with my flattery. So if anybody's going to talk to the dragon, it should be me. It oh, is okay. vain. Also, you're the only one who can fly to that height. <laughs> so. True. True. Mm-hmm. And of course, as I mentioned, dragon ancestors. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Okay. Era, if you would like to maybe go and try to talk to him. In the meantime, I don't think he's seen us. Be nasty and I will stay here, man the cannon, just <sighs> in case things go awry. You are at the cannon. You're staying still among kind of those crates and things over there. Yeah, let me move like... you. Um, but you have not yet loaded the cannon. Correct. Yes, it's yes. correct. So which would you like to do first? So would you like to wait until she's engaged in talking to try and load this cannon? Yes, wait. Wait till she's talking. Okay. To be clear, you're going to fly up to this dragon. Are you flying or just walking? Uh, I'm going to fly. You're going to fly up to this dragon and you're going to attempt to engage it in speech. He's going to smack you like a gnat. Hey, maybe not. Ho, friend. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. (laughs) What is your purpose here? Have you seen a prince around here? Okay, you this fly up to the dragon. Around. It notices you, uh, the insignificant little gnat that you are. <laughs> and, and it kind of breathes and smoke comes out of its nostrils. Who are you? And why are you in my domain? 
Hey, oh wonderful and majestic dragon. My name is Era. What's your name? I am Relquire. And and yes, I am wonderful and majestic. <laughs> You're what is your purpose here? I was so struck by the shininess of your scales and how lustrously beautiful they are that I wanted to come over and compliment you on them. We are here looking for someone, and we're curious if you're looking for the same person. Why would I help you? Give me one reason not to burn you to embers. Well... Let's be honest, I'm kind of scrawny. I wouldn't make much of a meal for you. It'd be really more of a waste of your breath, I mean, quite literally, uh, than anything else. And we actually have some information which you wouldn't get if you ate us. So we could help each other out here, or we can, of course, go along our merry way and leave you to your business. How could you help me? You're nothing. Well, we're very small, at least I'm very small, and we can fit into places that your magnificent body might not be able to, oh, large and glorious one. <laughs> you fucking ass kisser. <laughs> why, why would I need you to fit anywhere? My patience is wearing thin. The tower, we've heard, has many hidden passages and tunnels, which would be difficult for your beautiful talons to fit in. That's where Why we would I want to get into the tower? I know your fondness for gold, and we gold? have hold. We've heard there is gold in this tower. Gold in the tower, you say? And you will retrieve this gold for me? Yes. If you let us pass unharmed. Roll me persuasion. Uh, <laughs> Woo! 18! 18, uh, baby! Plus two? 18 plus three. Yeah. Plus three. 21. Wow. Thank God. All right. Nicely done. Luckily, talking to the most charismatic of the group. Okay. So the dragon uh, looks at you. Gold, you say. I do love gold. All right, then. Bring me the gold you have until nightfall. Meet me back here on this very spot with a fitting tribute to Relquire. Or I will find and incinerate you and your little friends. That's right, I see them over there by that wreckage, that human wreckage. My dragon eyes spotted them. If you do not bring me this gold, you all will die. And then, uh... The dragon flaps and uh, takes off. It's going to meet you there at nightfall. Thanks for not killing us and yet. And it expects you to have gold. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we better hope we can get some gold Did here. we say how much gold? Well, like, listen, not, we've got we have 30, 30 gold. gold. Well, I, yeah, but that's like nothing. I know. Tribute. That's a not fitting, a fitting tribute a to tribute a dragon. A tribute befitting a dragon. You think 30 so gold pieces? Our best case scenario is we go in there, we find the prince... We get our 500 gold. We give him like a majority share, and then yes, that is the best case. Scenario. No, best yeah. case scenario is we go in this tower, and there actually is a hoard of gold inside. Okay, I get sure that is a pipe I mean, dream. Yes, yes, yes that's yeah. It's not that's, necessarily a pipe dream. Come on, it's a tower. It's spooky. It's, it's got mist. There's got to be a treasure chest in that bitch somewhere. Uh, I think it's old and probably yeah. But you know what, Zanzara, we don't want to rain on her parade. Like, let's that's go true. find some gold. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it would have been fun to shoot a cannon at it, though. It would have been real fun. Maybe you'll still get the chance. All right. Yeah, you, the, cannon, <laughs> the cannon has wheels. Yeah, I say we bitch. wheel. Can we, let's wheel this down to the tower. Just, you know, yeah. leave it yes, outside. In case. Yeah, we'll leave it yep. outside just in case. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you'd like to continue on to the tower, and you would like to take the cannon with you, yes? Yes. yes. And the okay. cannonballs and the gunpowder. Yeah, I'm going to let you carry all that stuff. Uh, the tower had been shrouded by a mist, uh, but now as you approach closer, uh, the mist clears. Spooky. Or less spooky, because there's no more mist. I don't know. So you approach the tower, and as the mist clears, you see uh, atop the tower is a, is a, uh, a skeletal man. He's got skulls kind of hanging off his clothes. He just looks like skin and bones, and he's cackling <laughs> as he stands atop the tower. 
Next to him, tied and bound to a wooden post, uh, you see a man in gleaming armor. You do know, even though uh, you never went to any of his village visits, uh, <laughs> but you strongly suspect is we got Prince a Renard. We got a description yeah. from yeah, that yeah. guy. Do we see oh. the prince's guards anywhere? He did say that there were some bodies that looked a little fresher than others. That doesn't necessarily yep. mean that was his guard, there, but... There are no guards, there are no bodies. Uh, actually, no, there are corpses. There's skeletal and rotting corpses around the base of the tower. Um, they're, they're too far gone to recognize whether they're guards or not. So Steimer wants to shoot, or excuse me, Zanzara says, let's shoot a cannon and try to hit the cauldron. Is that what you said, the cauldron? I was saying that's a thing we could do. We could do it. I see some stairs to the right of the tower. That's true. There are stairs leading up into the tower. If you, you could shoot the cannon, uh, but the prince is right next to that cauldron. Oh, he is? Okay. Then never mm-hmm. mind. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, so it's the necromancer, and then the cauldron's kind of in the middle of the two, and then the prince. So we definitely and- need to get closer and investigate, but we don't want to alert the necromancer. Then maybe being asked you should stay here for a minute. Because it's very hard to miss. That's true. So I definitely want to take flight above the necromancer and peer down so I can... Without being seen? Without yeah, being seen. Be so Roll I stealth. can survey what's yeah. going on. He's in yeah. the middle of an incantation, but roll me stealth. Okay. Here we go. See, we had not drank and did this at night. It'd be easier. 17 plus 2. So 19. 19. Yes. Okay, uh, the necromancer in a deep trance uh, doesn't see you. Your wings flap softly as you take a peek. You see the necromancer <laughs> there. Something's bubbling in a cal- cauldron. He's he's murmuring an incantation. He's got the prince tied up. Can I assess the prince's health, health from my scouting position? Yeah, he looks alive. He's wiggling. He's trying to break out of the... Oh, uh, Does the he see her? Is he lucid? Like, is he awake and conscious? Yep. Uh, it's, I'll prep the cannon. <laughs> okay. You are, you are pretty close. Roll, roll stealth if you're prepping. Roll me a stealth check. Oh, boy. <laughs> Two plus one, three. Okay, I'll try because I got a plus one. Wait, wait, no, though. wait. Did you? Who already oh. rolled? No, no, no. Uh, she rolled. Oh. Okay, so you lift a cannonball to put it into the cannon, and uh, it slips out of your hands. It's greasy with marsh, marsh sludge, and it slips and clangs off the cannon, <gasps> alerting the necromancer to your presence. Did I And the do necromancer that? looks down. No! The necromancer looks down. I can never finish a spell. <laughs> and then Who I would are say, you? Sorry. Era, free the prince. You know what? <laughs> I don't this. care. Goldbladder, go! And he throws something into the cauldron. From the ground, corpses begin to rise out of I the I knew it. Damn yeah, it. He's a necromancer. Up out of the ground rise two humanoid zombies and one ogre zombie. It is a zombie that is also an ogre. An ogre zombie. Oh, and uh, Batu says, ah, I've done it. I have finally made zombies. He uh, he might have failed to do that. I'm getting the campaign. sense that this is not a very good necromancer. Uh, yep. Yeah. And he says, zombies, attack. And the, the zombies move towards you. Roll for initiative. So 15. 18 plus one, 19. I've got seven. I would like to prep Whoever cannon, goes please. first, is that you? Yeah, because you rolled really I high. I think it's me. You're just putting a cannonball into a thing. I mean, you did slip last time, but you're not trying to do it stealthily. Okay. Uh, Technically, yeah, I so slipped. She didn't slip. I guess I guess cannonballs are heavy. So uh, just roll me a, a strength check. As long, okay. as, as long as you don't roll a one. Did you roll I rolled one? a four, and I have a plus three modifier. Okay, that's fine. Seven. Oh, good. So cannonballs are heavy, but you are giants, and so Yay. you managed to load the cannon. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, because you were one of the first ones to go. So yeah, that. W- but that is your turn. Uh, now the ogre's going to go. So he, uh, he shatters this, whatever this wooden thing was. <laughs> He shatters, he shatters that wooden barrier that was in the way, uh, and that's his turn. He smashes through, and he comes straight towards you. Zanzara, you are up. Um, I would Ogre's like coming towards you. you. Fire the cannon at the ogre. Yeah. Okay. She that's prepped it. I'm ready to light it. So yeah. you, you pull out a torch, and you would like to light the fuse? I would love to. 
Okay. I mean, I would like to angle it also at him yeah, <laughs> so yeah. that we don't we don't <laughs> miss that element of it. This would be, I guess, intelligence. Can you angle a cannon right? And did you prep it right and everything? Uh-huh. So give me an intelligence check. 12. 12? Yeah. Okay, so you let her rip and this cannon hits. It hits him square in the belly. Uh, this yeah. ancient cannon. Uh, as a cloud of smoke rises up from the cannon and this big lumbering uh, zombie ogre takes a cannonball to the tummy, roll me 5d6 of damage. Yeah. Um, I don't... Just Or just roll it five times. Yeah, I'll roll three. I'll, I'll write down the numbers for you. Okay, we got a four, a three, and a five. Uh-huh. And then <clears throat> we got a three and a three. Uh, so you hit this thing and blast it dead center. And uh, you could hear the cannonball thud against it and then kind of ricochet off uh, back out uh, into the ground. And the thing stumbles backwards and goes down and is prone. One of the skeletal zombies comes up and swings the scythe at Zanzara. So it's going to swing at Zanzara. That's, uh... Oh, that's an 18. And yeah, then uh-uh. plus, I think it gets like plus two or three. So I yeah, think it's I probably going to hit. My armor class is 16, so. It's a slam attack. Okay. So it hits. So four, four plus one, five. Five bludgeoning damage to All you. All right. Great. Back where I was the first fight. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was the zombie. Era, you're up. So I'm still in the air, so I, for the moment, I'm protected from the ground zombies. So I am going to focus my attention on the necromancer. I definitely want to prevent this necromancer from casting any more spells or getting any more uh, zombies up out of the ground. So I want to numb it in place. So I'm going to cast my frostbite spell, my cantrip, at this necromancer. So I'm going to attempt to shoot some frost at the necromancer to freeze him in place with frostbite so that he cannot summon any more zombies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll. It is a 12. Do you plus anything or no? Okay, this uh, necromancer is uh, not very armored, so it hits. Nice. Yeah. And then what? what's your damage on that? <laughs> well, it's uh, one. So oh. So you hit him with this frost and he's like, Brr, that was cold. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> other, Apparently other nothing. Thing. Apparently I'm doing nothing. <laughs> the other zombie charges B Nasty with a massive yeah. cleaver. Come Uh get some, bitch. I've rolled a 15 plus... That would hit you, yeah, Brett? Because you're on the glasses, yeah. Oh, great. So I hit you, and (laughs) I roll six comes up. Four plus one, five damage to be nasty. (sighs) Raising this cleaver above its head, it moans and goes, slashes you. Okay, fine. Cool, you got your cheap shot in. I'll remember your face. Great. Uh, up next. Uh, so the necromancer will fix Era with his gaze. He doesn't like that you attacked him at all. And he is going to cast Ray of Sickness at you. No. So his greenish energy will shoot out from his, his fingertips. Make a ranged attack against the target. I roll a 11. Does that beat your armor class? Nope. No, I'm 15. Ah. So your your wings <laughs> shield you as this ray kind of bounces off. <laughs> and uh, the necromancer goes, oh, my ray of sickness. But I wanted to sicken you, but he didn't. <laughs> Not today, necromancer man. Angry, the, ecro- the necromancer is <laughs> very that angry. That works for me. My priority is to run over to that prone undead ogre and smash his skull in with my maul. A skeleton uh, hit you, so you'll have to roll disengage. Fucking three. God, why? Why? Oh, so no, be twigs. nastier. Uh, the skeleton steps right in your path and uh, and and is looking like it's going to bite you. What do you want to do? So I will roll a d20 to try to hit the skeleton because he did just hurt me, and fine. like I, we, can, we can hang out. We can have a party, sir. All right, <laughs> a six. A six? A six. Total? 
The Nasir but... has a pro proficiency bonus of plus two. Okay, so eight. Zombie has an eight armor class. That hits. Oh my yeah. Goodness. So roll okay, some cool. damage. I will. I'd like to go into my rage too, because I'm mm -hmm. very angry. I'm very okay. upset. Okay. Okay. It's on, you zombie bastard. 2d6 came to 5, plus 3, plus 2 is 10. So, yeah, describe. it's still alive, but describe to me what happens. Um, I take my two-handed maul. And it's still alive, though, so I can't really split it in half, can I? You could, uh, like, you know, halfway, maybe. Like, get a nice can chunk I? in his shoulder. Yeah, you're right. I think I will. I think I will. I think I'll connect right at the neck, where the neck and the shoulder meet. I'll just go like halfway through down to like the pelvic area, and then I'll just stop right there. So now it's kind of flopping around. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. shatter its collarbone, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, and really bust into it. Uh, it's still up. It, the mystical energies that hold it together are still holding it together. Uh, but yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking less like a skeleton, more like a xylophone. So you're Perfect. doing you're doing something <laughs> you're doing something right. Uh, okay. So that was be nasty. Ogre's turn. Ogre gets up. No. And uh, yeah, this ogre zombie has uh, what the weapon he has is a morning star, and he rolls a two, four. Damn. Well, two. A four good. plus. Doesn't matter. Ain't going uh, to hit yeah, plus six to hit ten. Nope. What's 16. your armor class? 16? Sixteen. Okay. Okay. So uh, he's, <laughs> damn it, he's still rattled by that cannonball. And he swings the morning star, but and you I dodge lightly. You duck. I'm sorry. Yes, great. Duck. You duck, and it the morning star goes right over your head. Whoosh. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a little Neo situation where I just like bend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, I love it. Except I want to kill you. But other than that, I love it. It is <laughs> now your turn. Opportunity. It is now your <laughs> turn, Zanzara. Excellent. Um, I guess I will just go for the. I'll just. Ogre swings at me. I go to try and stab, but the like in the, the neck halberd? area. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and stab this bad boy in the neck. Okay. If I if I may. He's taking some damage from this cannonball, so. Yeah, that's why I'm hoping. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. <laughs> Thirteen. Plus, I don't know what proficiencies I would add. That's a hit. That's a hit, though. You don't even need any Great. proficiencies. Great. So um, Thirteen. So roll me some my, damage. My D10 plus three. Oh, oh, bitch. Right. I rolled a one, uh, but then I got a three, so a four. Okay. And I just like stab it in the neck a little bit. Okay, so you stab it in the neck, <laughs> and like uh, flesh sloughs off of it and makes kind uh. of a gurgling sound, but it's uh, it's still up and moving around. Ew. I yeah, know, that's pretty Ew, gross. David. Ew, David. Ew, David. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> gross. Uh, okay, so that was uh, Zanzara's turn. Now for the zombie. Uh, That's fine. and <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the zombie that attacked first, so it gets to, to attack again. Can. It's okay. Kill, yeah, I'm like, kill the necromancer, I'll be fine. That's a 15. Uh, does not hit. 15. Plus, I, wait, no, hang on, oh, hang plus, on. 15 plus 3, 18. Bad. Okay, great. Uh, I'm rolling 1d6 plus 1. 2 plus 1, take 3 damage. Yay. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, so yeah, he winds up again with that scythe, and he notices you uh, ducking the ogre, and he uh, he whacks you with that scythe as soon as you finish your dodge move. Ow! Man. <laughs> hurt. Ow! He's Era, bastard. you're up again. All right. Freeze him, girl. Freeze him. I am pissed now. Stab him. <laughs> Ooh. I am done with this BS. Okay. I've decided to cast... My ice knife Ooh, spell. Yeah, we didn't do that one. Mm -hmm. It's time to get serious. And I will describe it if I land it. So I should probably roll first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please, oh please. Fingers crossed. Here we go. You can do it. 15. That definitely hits. I have a 15. Yeah, that's going to hit the necromancer. He's not heavily armored at all. Uh, Excellent. Okay, yeah. Describe to me what happens. Um... So I pull my talons with my wings up and start forming this giant icicle in the air. And I make the tip incredibly pointy with little <laughs> mini shards along the way. I then get it to a nice elongated size and I whoosh it towards the necromancer. 
Okay. One D10. Yeah. But it says hit or miss, the shard then explodes, and the creature within five feet must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take two D6 cold damage. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, here we go. So that is a... Is that a zero? Is that possible? I didn't know. No, that would be a 10, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Got so, so I got a 10. You do 10 damage to the necromancer. Uh, so the ice knife hits him and it sticks him and he's like, ah, and then it explodes, right? And, yes. Uh, who ha- uh, so creatures near him have to make a dexterity saving throw. So Prince Renard, who oh, is shit. right next to him. Oh my <laughs> no. <laughs> no. has to make a saving throw. Oh to see if he shit. can dodge these shards of ice and he's going to make it at disadvantage. Cause he's because he's tied up. He's tied up, exactly. This was a critical <laughs> error, everybody. That's why I like to stab him. Just stab him good, <laughs> good work, rescuer. <laughs> you know, this is so hungry. Um, this honestly. might come out of our pay. I'm just going to say yeah. that. He fails. Uh, so one of those uh, ice shards catches him right in the joint of his armor, and he screams. He goes, Ma, ah, what are you doing? Ah, oh, <laughs> it hurts. Oh, it hurts and freezes at the same time with a burning, freezy thing. Why? Are you, what are you? Are you here to kill me? He's very like, confused. I, do He's we have confused. to bring the prince in alive? Was that a condition yeah. of this? Yes. Is yes, there a penalty it was. if it's a corpse? Oh. Uh, oh. The, the message said for the safe return of the prince. Dang it. I mean, uh, safe so is that, relative. So that is <laughs> your turn. <laughs> wait, but don't they each, wait, doesn't the other guy have to roll? Oh yeah, he takes damage. Sure, if he the necromancer, uh, that's an 18. The necromancer uh, does succeed. In, Damn it. Uh, so the fragment of ice does not hit him. Uh, but the but the the big the big thing did, but the explosion did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we Come go. Come on, roll shitty. Roll, roll shitty. shitty. Um, Oops. it's sort of shitty. That's good. It's. I mean, it's not good. For it's him. not good. It's eight. It's eight. Oh. Okay. So yeah, he's like, ah, what are you doing? It burns. It freezes, and uh, he takes eight damage. He's injured. What about his Sorry. armor? Isn't he wearing like a he, fucking? He said, I said, I said he it said hits it him in the joint the between the armor. God damn it! Uh, yeah. Such precise ice shards. Yes. Well, well, there were a lot of ice shards. <laughs> Some bounced off his armor. That one hit him in the joint and did eight damage. <gasps> I'm oh, sorry, guys. Crap. My bad. Good Let's tap it. You know, we're new to this whole adventuring thing. Like, we can't be too harsh on it. But I did okay. a solid ten damage on the necromancer. You, you, you should be proud. You yes. should be proud. It's just that uh, we don't get this prince back alive, we're all gonna be Krispy Kreme, but that's We fine. also <laughs> might be Krispy Kreme anyway, because I'm surrounded by zombies. It kind of feels uh, like the dungeon master is trying to kill us all, in case you forgot. I uh, <laughs> I absolutely am. It, it doesn't kind of feel that way. I pretty much announced that, so. I mean, it's, it's more than kind of a feeling. Uh, but anyway, uh, the zombie next to Be Nasty, it's his turn to attack. He gets a 15 plus. Yeah, you hit me. You don't, yes. even have, to, you don't have to keep rolling. <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't going to keep rolling. I was just going to do the plus, but okay. <laughs> 1d6 plus 1. 5 plus 1. Take 6 damage. No, because I'm going to do my stone's endurance. Oh, shit. As a reaction, reduce damage dealt to you by 1d12 plus 2. Damn. That's a good move. <laughs> do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Roll, roll me okay. the d12. I threw... A four plus two, so minus six, so nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good, Good job, being a steward. Cause like I'm gonna have to heal myself at this point. I have four HP <laughs> left. Describe how your stones endurance or whatever deflects this attack. Your little puny ass skeleton swipes at me. My cheek turns as you make contact, but I slowly turn back to you and I grin and I lick the blood off of my face and I call you a four letter word. Oh, damn. That's my stone's endurance. Yeah. If, if zombies still had emotions, he might be frightened. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> All right. Uh, okay, whose turn is it? That was uh, the second zombie. So we're back up to the necromancer, who so far has not been able to do much. Uh, I'm going to use <laughs> chill touch on you. I create a ghostly necrotic hand that tries to touch you. Make a ranged Gross. spell attack. Five. Fuck! My necromancer sucks! <laughs> All right. Uh, so this the necromancer needs to go back to necromancy school. <laughs> the necrotic hand, he's like, go, my uh, necrotic hand. 
And the necrotic hand weirdly just gives him the finger and then dissipates. <laughs> like it, re- it, it refuses to obey him at all. And uh, this necromancer needs to work on his necromancing. Um, <laughs> be nasty, you're up. Oh, right. Okay, so I got to f- settle my score with this little zombie xylophone dude. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm rolling my D20, which is a whopping 20. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, you got an apple critical hit. 20. <laughs> Finally, yes. our first one of the game. Yay. That's 20. Roll me some damage. Okay. Gladly. Okay. Oh, right. My 2D6 to come to a total of 7 plus 3 plus 2 is 15. No, no, I lied. That's definitely not 15. That's 12. So describe to me the zombie's uh, grizzly end. Okay. It really would have been so helpful he... if that was the ogre. I'm not going to lie. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah, that would have been, been a great role for the ogre. <laughs> Fantastic. The zombie ogre. You wasted it on this very injured skeleton. No, I did it because if I went after the ogre, the zombie would have tried to stop me again. And yeah, I didn't want to have to deal with it. I'm angry. I'm know, angry right now. I get it. It's not your fault. All right. All right. All right. All right. So here's the deal. Okay. So the, zo- the zombie was a xylophone. So what I do, though, because, you know, I crushed him in half, is I continue my my massacre, and I slice him completely in two, and now he's kind of like flopping around like a magic harp, right? Because he's still kind of held together by the necromancer, not really. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly I get really nauseous because I'm still super hungover from the night before. So I proceed to vomit all over this zombie, (laughs) and then I step on the pile of bones, and then he ceases to exist. Amazing. (laughs) So at your feet now, just a pile of bones and your own vomit. (laughs) Yep. Great. And Uh, I'm just like over there like, yeah, Zanzara <laughs> notices a a wretched stench in the air. Okay, uh, great, you have killed that zombie. Okay, uh, the ogre would like to kill Zanzara. I'm sure he would. Uh, so the ogre zombie wields his mighty morning star, plus six to hit. Aha, 17. Yeah, that, that would do it. That hit, and his morning star. Five. I mean, that's enough, you can Seven. stop. There. Okay, all right, great. Um, uh, so. He drops you below but zero he, hit points. Question, because huh? I have Relentless Endurance, and it says when you're reduced to zero HP but not killed, you can drop to one HP instead, but does that is that negated because he dropped me past zero? All right. Yeah, she so, like, lives. I'm basically dead, but like not quite dead yet. You're hanging basically on by a dead. thread. Yeah. You're taking advantage of the fact that the DM isn't sure <laughs> how that one works. <laughs> but okay, so yeah, it clobbers you with this morning star. And it, it lifts it back out, and it looks down at you, uh, crushed, pretty much. And it, it's like, mm, it's very happy with its work, but you're still like, But then oh, I get up, and I'm like, uh, ah! uh, And then I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. All right, that was the ogre's turn. You're up now, Zen. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I um, try and retreat behind the boxes that I see, okay. maybe. Under your friend, behind the boxes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> um... Yeah. And then I do lay hand, lay on hands. So yeah, up to five. Yeah, I'm gonna take all five because I have one HP. So uh, sorry, okay. all I needed that heals for myself, and I am now at six. So yeah, you lay on hands, and a glowing light emerges, and you heal yourself. The remaining zombie is going to move right at uh, B nasty, and swing. Cut. Nine plus three, twelve. Does that hit? Nay, nay, nay. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so that scythe bounces off your tough rock-like skin. Uh, and we move to Arrow. It's time to stop fucking around. I pull my wand of magic missiles Wait, out what? of my bag. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop it. And have decided to cast all three missiles at the necromancer. This can't backfire in any way, right? It cannot backfire in any way Okay. okay. That, that I am aware of. <laughs> Is there a way it can backfire? DM, I don't know. And magic missiles, I believe, automatically hit their targets. Okay, great. So I don't think they can accidentally miss. That is correct. Check. But you can check it. I'm just scared from the last thing. Because I was originally like, oh, it's cool. I can heal him after this is all done. But then I was like, oh, no, I need to use the heal for myself. So the attack succeeds nice. because it succeeds automatically. Now oh, roll yeah. for damage. A two, a three, a two, a three, and a two? Yes. Two, that three, really two, to five, seven, plus three, because each one gets a plus one for 10 total damage. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and describe it to me. He's still standing, though. 
As I'm holding my wand, I swirl it above my head and cast it towards the necromancer. Three giant missiles emerge from the wand and beeline towards the target, hitting the necromancer, boom, 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 in succession. I feel like the prince yeah. wins yeah. and is like, ah! But it's yeah. unharmed. The prince, prince Renard is like, oh, oh God, it's... Thank God that one didn't hit me. Oh. And the necromancer goes, bah, bah, oh, shakes himself off. But he's imbued with some sort of dark energy, so he's very resilient. He's still standing. Uh, but that was great. He's an Elton uh, John song. We move to the zombie who has been already murdered, I believe. Yeah, because the other yeah. one bounced off the armor. And then, uh, and then now we're back at the necromancer. Necromancer did not like you attacking it. Very upset, this necromancer. Well, you know, it's the way the cookie crumbles, necromancer. We're going to try a ray of sickness again. Okay, try and one more One more time with the ray of sickness. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. <laughs> uh, He's a disturbed fan. Yeah. Known. That's going to be a 12. So 12 plus 7. Oh. 19. Oh. I'm oh. sorry. Shit. Well, then. Well, uh, yeah. could you go back to the original map? Yeah, can we go no, back? No, no. <laughs> No, in fact, I think the only reason you dodged it the first time was because I missed that plus seven. So that, this hits. Uh, and when it hits, this ray of sickness, uh, two D8 poison damage. And you have to make a constitution uh, saving throw. And I can't use my shield attack, my shield spell? No, you can. You can raise your armor class. Yeah, but would that, wait, what was the roll? As a reaction. Mean? It what was, uh, so total is 19. And if you roll it to 20. It would raise it, yeah, if you go if up you by did, five. If you use shield, it raise it to twenty, so he wouldn't hit you. Right, so I should use you should this definitely spell. Definitely use this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can see that this sickness that the necromancer has cast in my direction it looks incredibly unpleasant. I cast my shield spell, surrounding myself with protection. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> That unfortunately does raise your armor enough. So again, that bright white shield uh, that stopped the were uh, eagle pops up again and deflects this ray of sickness. And the necromancer said, says, mm, I really wanted to get down with the sickness. And, but he doesn't. Uh, and then, okay, the necromancer can't hit apparently. Be nasty, you're up. You've got a, a regular zombie and a ogre zombie on the ground. My gut instinct tells me to get rid of the plebe first, but I feel like this ogre is going to cause a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. okay. He is an ogre if zombie. If only you could re-roll exactly what you rolled before. I know. Another, the ogre. another 20? Yeah. I know. I was Give looking at my bag of stuff, plebe. and I have I have holy water. I have steaks. You have but holy I looked, water? I do, but my maul does more damage because I have a plus three. But these are so. undead creatures. Yeah, I guess an undead, I was looking at it, it does 2d6 radiant damage, but my maul does 2d6 plus three. So it's like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm gonna go take care of this little plebe skeleton zombie. I'm just gonna attempt it. So I'm going to roll my d20 to see if I hit with my huge ass maul and I have a 19. <laughs> yep, that's gonna hit. That yeah, hits their is. armor, roll me some damage. Got a three, a five, I've got eight, 13 damage, baby. 13 damage on the ogre? <laughs> baby. Baby. Yes. Okay. yes, on the ogre. So you uh, <laughs> whack into that ogre. Yeah, tell me what happens. He's still standing though. Yeah, I mean, I, I hit the son of a bitch with my badass maul, but he's pretty unfazed because he is a huge ass ogre. And I don't really know what there is to say. Maybe I take out a chunk of his flesh on the side, but it doesn't matter because he's still standing. I don't mm -hmm. care about the, the intimate details. I just want to know if it's dead or alive. No, it's I alive. Guess technically, technically it's alive. It's undead. You, yeah, you, you check it. Uh, it's undead. <laughs> yeah. You took out a chunk of its flesh, though. <laughs> Sam, if, we, if you and I could somehow, I mean, I know you're delicate right now, but if we could prime that cannon and shoot it again, that might I be helpful. I hid behind it, technically, right now. You had you hid behind the crates. The cannon oh, is yeah. still over by oh, being Oh, I nasty. see. Sorry. Never mind. I didn't do that. You, yeah. Now it's the ogre's turn. And the ogre didn't like that you hit him with your maul, and he's gonna come after you with his morning star. Cool. 12 plus six, 18. Yeah, Jesus. yeah. Okay, so that's 2d8 plus four. What? <laughs> he's got Holy a morning crap. star. <laughs> yeah. 
That seems, you know what? I also find it suspicious that we haven't found any healing potions along our way. Two. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Well, we could have gone to the fisherman's Three. hut, but nobody wanted to, except for, I guess, technically being Astro dead, but. Uh, nine damage to you. Well, <gasps> you've killed me. Congratulations. No! Okay, make a, make a, make a saving throw. Make a death okay. saving throw. <laughs> 14. You succeed. Ah, who's the undead ogre now, bitch? Yes. So you Let's are go. still alive, uh, but you are barely clinging to life. You kind of collapse across that. The Yeah, you're over by the cannon, so you kind of collapse across the cannon. That was the ogre's turn. Zanzara, you're up. Getting really bad down here. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, I've always loved you. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I'm hiding behind these crates. I'm gonna run around the back so, like, so that they don't have an opportunity of attack on me and try okay. to like, skirt around to the side of the cannon. Okay, you wanna get back to the cannon and fire another one? Yeah, I mean, it's our best shot. Otherwise we are- We're, we're, we're all dead men for. walking, yeah. dead women okay. walking Unless she can point. kill the necromancer and it goes down. Like, Hilar yeah. Hil hilariously, oh, uh, this from this good. angle that you're now at, since you ran around and kind of aimed the cannon, uh, it, you'd have to shoot basically through the other zombie to hit the other one. But well, it's, a, one. it's a skeleton. Yeah, you could get a two yeah. for one here. All right, roll me a ranged attack. Funny. Okay, I was like, did ranged attack. I'm like, what? Be good, be good. What is it? It's a it's a four. I slid right. one, I slid one, 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 the cannon and I fall down again. I appreciate the valiant effort though, Simer. You will die a hero. Try Okay, you you so you you say you slip while yeah, loading the so cannon. Yeah, so I'm okay. trying to load the cannon, but I I yeah I just I, I, I slip I slip and I do an oopsie <laughs> and I don't get okay. the cannonball in. Uh, it's muddy. It's not your fault. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the skeleton sees you doing this and is going to attack you. Fair enough. We don't have to worry about the dragon guys because I don't think we're gonna live to see the dragon. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. You might. We'll inherit. We are we'll definitely. Pretty and I definitely are not. No, yeah, we'll die together. We can hold hands. They'll be okay, uh, that was a eleven. Does that no. hit? that doesn't hit no. you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, once again, clinks off your armor. Era, era, you're up again. Seeing how successful my wand of magic missiles was the last time I attacked the necromancer, I raised my wand high and cast it towards the necromancer again. Okay. Automatically hit, roll me some damage. Quite literally, could be our only hope. You got this. A three, a three, and a three. A three, a three, and a three. Nine plus one plus for each die, so, so it's four four, 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 so it's 12. 12 damage. Okay, uh, yeah, these magic missiles come in, they find their target, pew, 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 oh! And uh, the necromancer uh, takes blast. You have rendered me him unconscious. Describe how that happens. As my uh, missiles from my wand hit the necromancer, the first one explodes the dark energy around him. The second one is a direct hit, stumbles him backwards, and the third one knocks him to the ground and little birdies are circling around his head. Excellent, and as you do that, the two zombies on the ground, the ogre zombie and the other skeleton, collapse as if Thank God. Uh, marionettes with their strings cut. I just breathe a sigh of relief against the cannon. I'm like, <sighs> oh, thank God. <laughs> you guys doing okay down there? <laughs> Thanks, no. Aura. Oh, no. God. I owe you a drink. I came back from the dead. Great, I... uh, so you have defeated uh, Batu the necromancer. Uh, Batu. Yes. Oh, you didn't know his. That's right. Actually, you don't know his name because he never said anything. Um, no. Well, he did but, say stuff, uh, but nothing useful. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you like to do? You've got a prince tied up up there. You've got. Hey. Some... So, am I unconscious or do I have one she's, HP? She's at zero, right? Uh, or when you do a saving throw, do you go to one? Yeah, you go to one. Uh, oh, okay. But I'll say because you're no longer in danger, your friends have time to tend to your wounds. Yeah, I would, I would go help her. Yeah. So, okay. I descend down. On to the, to the platform where the prince is tied up and I take my dagger out and I Help cut his, yeah. cut his bonds and, and lift him off and say, Hey, Renard, Renard, sorry, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to, you know, slice you through the joint of your armor with my ice shard. It was just an accident. I, uh, I'm still getting the hang of all of these ice spills. Mm -hmm. My bad, Reasonable bro. Reasonable apology. And Renard says, Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes, I understand. Uh, 
these things happen, these things happen. Thank you so much. <laughs> My father, I, I assure you, will reward you greatly when, uh, when he hears of this. Uh, your heroics uh, will go down in legend in, uh, in Reglas. And uh, Elzar is a very, uh, very generous king, I think you'll find, once, uh, once he hears about this story. So he's very grateful. Uh, he's, he's very relieved that you've downed this necromancer. Renard, I do have a piece of the puzzle here that I need to let you in on. So uh, while we were outside trying to come in here to, you know, rescue you, mm-hmm. we ran into a dragon and- Oh, oh dear, In a order dragon. for us to enter the tower unscathed, we had to promise the dragon that we would bring him gold. You don't happen to have gold on you right now, do you? A lot of gold. Oh by the no, way. I'm sorry. I wasn't. Uh, I, w- I never travel with much gold. I I have 50 <laughs> gold pieces uh, that I normally travel with uh, that they didn't rob from my pouch. I don't know what they wanted from me. It certainly wasn't my money because they left my pouch on me. Uh, but uh, 50 is all I have. That's I, not I'm gonna not sure that will dragon. appease a dragon. No. No, that and that my thirty. That's not going to do it. Did you explore so this together. tower at all? Is there maybe some hidden rooms where we might find some treasure in the tower? I, I have not. I have not explored this tower at all. Uh, okay, here's, I've, here's I've the secret. The... Okay, we need to listen. To the listen, we need, yeah, we got. To, here's the problem: is we have until tonight to get enough gold to appease this dragon, or he's going to burn my friends and I to crispy chicken tenders. Okay, we're going to become weird chicken tenders. That's terrible. Want that. Yes, my, my lord, my word. Yeah, yeah. So if you could, you know, maybe negotiate a nice uh, rate with your father, so we can all live to see another day and drink another beer or two, that'd be fantastic. Oh, my father will pay what whatever is necessary, whatever ransom is necessary. Uh, cool. Once we reach him, of course, and actually inform him of what's happened. Yeah, how let's, far away is the that. palace, by the way? Like how long of a journey? Oh, I would say about three days travel. Oh, fuck. by horse. Oh. All right, ladies, we offer the prince to the dragon. No. Cannot do that. Hmm. That's the only way we save our asses in this situation. Eh. I don't think the dragon's going to take a down deposit of 80 gold. And you know what? <laughs> I'm trying uh, to think here. We could shelter inside the tower for the night and regain our strength and be protected from the dragon inside the tower, knowing that mm. he would be waiting for us outside when we leave in the morning. But at least we would be rested or we can try to sneak past him. Yeah, I feel like if we hang out in the tower and the dragon comes tonight, he might be able to like smell us or some shit. And like, I might be able to persuade tower. him that 80 gold is a worthy sum for a dragon. <laughs> or I could yep. roll Persuasion really terribly and, and it'll go bad for all it of us. It'll go very bad for all of us. <laughs> it, I, yeah. but I don't know what other options we have here, friends. Prince Renard, you don't have powers of any sort. Are you just a just a soldier type? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm unfamiliar with the, the arcane arts. I, I'm i a simple human prince. I... Prince, have you checked out those ruins over there? No, no, I haven't checked out. I've been captured. I was nowhere near. I was... <laughs> I've been tied up, y'all. <laughs> I, was, I was on the road to here. Yes, they took me prisoner. They blindfolded me. I haven't had the chance to explore. I've been tied up. Yeah, I haven't had the chance to explore or do anything. Do you guys think that we could make for the ruins and make it in the ruins before the dragon find us, finds us? Uh, yeah, I mean they're right there. But the problem we have, we need to rest. We could, I don't know if we want to rest in an evil place. And I think I think this is where we're going to call it. I kind of like the uncertainty hanging in the air about what happens to your party. <laughs> so you were in a bad place. You have saved Prince Renard. You owe a dragon a lot of money. <laughs> You're not even sure how much you owe him. Uh, and you uh, you have an unconscious necromancer with you uh, who you've knocked unconscious and uh, a cannon with one cannonball left. No, we have two. Uh, you have two left? Okay, yeah. oh, great. Yeah, that's right. You never fired the we second one. We never fired one. the you second have, one. Yep. You have two yep. cannonballs left. Uh, you're near some ruins that may contain something evil. It's, it certainly feels that way. <laughs> and uh, that's where we'll leave it. That's where the curtain will fall on your party. Uh, you guys um, uh, maybe haven't seen the other ones, but there's other adventurers wandering around this world. Uh, so you never know. Maybe someone will come to your rescue or something. <laughs> Please help us. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, hey, but you saved the prince, and that's what matters. He's alive. Hey, he's dead. That yeah. ice shard didn't kill him. Oh, Luckily, cool. it went in his elbow and not his neck. 
That could have been the end. <laughs> could have been real bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And, uh, we could have killed the prince and still owed the dragon yeah. a lot of money with no way of getting that money. Yeah. It would have been up Shit's Creek for us, for sure. Oh and also important, uh, all three of you survived, which, okay, Ooh. I guess that's fine. <laughs> I would have preferred... <laughs> I would have heard one or two of you died, but You knocked sure. us down. You knocked two of us I down. I did. Yeah, yeah. You were in death saving throws. Yeah. I don't even know how those work, but I know you almost died. All right. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see the last time I played D&D, &D, go ahead and click right over here. Or what YouTube thinks is best for you, click over here. Here's the subscribe button. And check out What's Good Gaming. There's a link to that in the description. Okay, bye-bye.